Hello and welcome back. Uh, so last example we have seen about uh, uh, a registration form and uh, so that's end of uh, forms module. Okay, and we'll see the form validations and all in the coming classes and we get a, form, a few more forms concepts in coming classes. Uh, now uh, I have cleared those components from my source code and I have taken a backup and uh, I, I cleared everything like I removed from the components folder and uh, uh, I removed from the app component. I, I cleared them from the import statements and declarations from app module. So now my uh, source code is back to original. Okay, so without any component now. So I have started the server and I can see this. Okay, so now here uh, we are, you know, jumping into another concept that's called uh, structural directives. Okay, so what is the meaning of structural directives is? So as of now we have see uh, so earlier we understand about uh, one directive that is ng model right ng model so ng model is for a two way data binding uh, along with that we have few other directives like ng if directive so ng if is for conditionally rendering okay generally you have some data uh, on the ui and you want to render some uh, different different data based on certain conditions okay so as of now we just display data as it is okay so but i want to display that data conditionally on the page so how conditionally you display data is ngf and we also have uh, it just like your if condition in the regular javascript language and we also have ng switch ng switch so ng switch is like uh, your switch case so you have multiple cases and when the case match and only that particular uh, the UI snippet is going to display. Okay. And we also have ng4. ng4, uh, we have seen this already uh, ng4 in the, um, the product item as well as I think in the shopping cart example of events binding we have seen that. Okay. So ng4. So these are like structural directives concept of Angular. Uh, so how conditionally you display the content and how to loop through uh, the certain items and display the data okay so we will just uh, uh, understand uh, these things with few examples so you get the more clarity on how to use uh, these structural directives with angular components okay so first we'll start with ngf so here i create first of all new directory called uh, components in this let me create a component so open with terminal nggc um, let's say something called authentication card card authentication card or just say um, authentication user you take authentication user not complete authentication functionality just a mimic um, okay so component created let's add here but before that Let's say structural directives. So let's add authentication uh, user. So what happened? You get that content here. Okay. <coughs> um, so let's take, <coughs> I got HTML. I'll take a, a regular setup. Let's say a section, section with some margin top three and one container one row single column let's take a card and card body okay no card header just body okay fine and just take call md8 okay a small card okay let's take some shadow yeah we got a simple card uh, here, uh, to understand the story, I'll tell you. For example, you have some h1 tag. Welcome. Let's say welcome user. Okay, it will display as it is. And I have another h1. Let's say, uh, let's say welcome Naveen. Something like this. So both has been displayed. So whatever you write as it is, you, you will get it. Okay, I want to display either this or this depending on condition. 
so what you have to do is you will write like this ng if true so if true it will display by default true only so I, if I say false what happened this guy will not display only welcome Navin has been display for example uh, if you want to display that conditionally you say like it's true ngf true it's false so false will not display only true will display so if I make this true and I make this false so that will display and this will hidden so like that so how conditionally you will and you don't need to hard code like this depend on a variable you have to uh, display them so I have an example mm, what my plan is just take some mimic of login functionality okay so public is logged in of type boolean is equal to false so I'm just taking logged in false so you have not logged in so if you log in I'll display one content if not login I'll display some content so how so what I do is first of all I say some h2 tag uh, so star ngf is logged in if login let's say welcome Navin okay if login welcome Navin and if it is not logged in you get the not symbol if not login uh, just say uh, thank you okay fine so now check uh, it is not logged in so you will get not logged in you just get only thank you okay when I change this to uh, login becomes true then you get welcome Navin that way but I don't want to change this manually uh, for better user experience I'll take two buttons here okay so for example I'll take a button with the class uh, btn btn minus success and btn minus sm let's say login is one button and I have another button called uh, log out okay let's take btn warning yeah so you have two buttons login and log out okay so now what is my plan is when I click on login I want to make that variable to true and once I click on log out I want to make it false so for this let's create two methods so public login void so what it does is this dot is logged in is equal to true it just makes the value to true and another function or method let's say logout so it makes the value to false okay so login true and login false now um, I have to call these two functions from the button so here what I do is um let's say click events login for login and for click events uh, it's logout okay so now check i refresh i click on login you get welcome user i click on logout you get thank you so depend on a condition it is able to display the content okay so working uh, as expected but uh, one thing is uh, generally any website you never see a login logout both the links together okay either you log in either you log out okay so I want to apply the condition not just for the text I want to apply condition for the buttons as well if already login uh, then why display login button if already you log out then don't display logout button just login that way so what I do is I'll make a condition star ngf uh, if it is not logged in then you display login button to login okay and if it is logged in then display only logout link so you, you can do conditionally for the buttons as well so now check see it's not been logged in so you get just thank you logout so once I click on login you get welcome Naveen and you have seen the button called logout if you log out thank you I log in like this okay so this is how you render conditionally on the UI you have few more examples but this is the uh, clear idea for you to understand how conditionally render your content okay 
so that's it enough for this video and uh, next video we'll see a few other examples thank you